Thank you for staying with us. Adebowale Owoshani is a senior lecturer in information systems and a digital innovator with proven successes in the corporate and the academic arena. Of course, he will be with me this morning via Skype to talk about the use of ICT in times of uncertainty like this. Hello, doctor. Good morning, sir. Good morning. <laughs> How is... Uh... How you doing? I'm fine. All right. How's the UK this morning? UK is beautiful. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. It's great to have you here also. So we are in uncertain times. I mean, uh, maybe times have not been in quotes uncertainer than this uh, in our lifetime. Yeah. And uh, a number of things are just going on and all of that. A lot of our lives now revolve around technology. I mean, we're having to have a Skype conversation with you uh, from the UK and all of that. A number of people are more open to uh, what technology can offer in these times. But let's, uh, let, let's talk about it now. In times like this where, you know, there is that, there is that um, use or the use of technology has actually skyrocketed and all of that. How well can we use it? How well can we keep ourselves safe? How well can we navigate these times when it comes to ICT? Oh, well, I think um, <laughs> it's, it's amazing how creative we have become with the use of ICT. Um, just like you have said, but uh, maybe I should buttress uh, that a little bit. So we've seen interesting things um, happening online. Okay, so for, for example, we've seen people having parties online, having funerals mm. online, having the new ceremonies online. Mm. Interestingly, it seems as if governance is <laughs> even moved online. Um, a couple of times I've seen um, the vice president at uh, meetings, you know, online and then uh, even schooling um, working from home pre-covid era used to be a, a i mean it's not a taboo but it's something that um, employers of labor seems to frown on those days i remember us having um, um uh, had a working leave meaning you are on leave but then you are home you are working but today it seems as if all these things have changed and then I just wonder what actually changed. Why is it that um, we, we tend to now accept and make use of technology in this trying and turbulent time, you know, unlike we've done before? Mm. You know, those days people complain that um, yeah, the reason why they can't use technology is because of the technology itself. But again, it just appears to me that major reason is about uh, a closed mindset. It's not really, really, really about the limitations of the technology, mm. but our mindset towards the usage of this technology. Now that is but where quickly, exactly. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. But quickly, I think this, this we have three major implications. Okay. So the first thing we are going to see is that this creativity is going to bring about a disruption. You recall our last conversation about um, fourth industrial revolution and how it's going to impact employment and impact every other aspect of our life. So it appears that what industrial revolution is coming quickly or quicker than, than, than we thought of. So there's going to be a lot of businesses that will go under, and then we're going to see the rise of new business models based on digital technologies. Okay, an example is going to be maybe a dry cleaner. Okay, so today we've seen a, 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 a lot of offices shut down and then people are working from home. So he, consider Mr. He, who is a drug cleaner and has um, about five uh, customers. Four out of those five customers are, of customers are bankers and they work on the highland. So the reason why that dry cleaner is having business or had business is those days because those guys are going to the office. But today with four people not going to the office, then you hmm. see that that dry cleaner, you know, eventually is going to lose, lose market and then lose job. And then another example might be people that sell Ashray B and all that, you know, so there are no more parties and then those businesses will go on that. But then again, we're going to see the rise of new businesses based on digital technology, data usage and all that. Now that's the exactly... Second thing, Doctor, that's exactly, just before you go into the second thing, Doctor, that's exactly what I wanted to mention now. Adaptability, when it comes to the common man, adaptability to that era of everything being digital, that is something that is, has been quite hard. How can someone make that process, that segue, how can one make it easy? For, you know, you know, you have a number of people, maybe the elderly, the baby boomers who uh, they've not been so used to technology, but now everything is getting into the technological space. How do they adapt? 
time? Well, I think we need to be creative about it. But one thing I also think we need to know is that the, the potential drawback of technology, okay, is yes. that it's, it has the potential of widening the inequality gap. Hmm. the social inequality gap. And uh, I'm afraid there is little we can do about it because sometimes it, it appears it's going to make the poorer, the, I mean, the poor poorer, and then the rich getting richer in code. So you take, for example, students that don't even have access to good schools before COVID. Mm. You know, how do you expect them to have access to um, um, schools online? They don't have access to data. They don't have access to good schools. But then today we've seen that the students of the rich that couldn't go to school before, I mean, uh, because of COVID, they've all moved online and then school is, 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 is going on for them. So for people that don't really have this technology, yes, they can adapt and then begin to learn about how to use some of them. An example is going to be, I've seen people making use of WhatsApp you know, as an example for, for, for schooling. Yeah. I've seen people hold fellowship churches and all that on WhatsApp. And then you wonder how they make use of this, you know, because they can't afford the kind of data that Zoom technology or Skype and all that is going to require. That's live streaming. But on, 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 on WhatsApp, you can just do voice messages and then combine it with your text message, and mm. then you are gone. You are good to go. So, mm. you know, you just need to look at creative ways of doing these things. And I, I also think that some of our, our um, digital technology providers should also look at technologies that will be affordable for the common man. Okay, wonderful. Doctor, you have two more points to give us. We'll conclude on those two more points next week. We have to go now. Okay. We'll conclude. We just okay. please keep them down. We'll continue talking about using ICT in terms of uncertainty. We have two more points to go from you. Thank you very much for such All an right. exposure this morning. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have All a right. blessed day. All right. Have Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you. Okay, that's it. I hope you're able to learn something there. Hey, come on. We have to look. There is no option. We all have to adapt. For those of us who are not tech savvy, you have to be. These are times, it's the future, it is now, right? Now that's all we can take now. That was tech, of course, and Dr. Adibuale Washin was our guest. I'll have to head over to the kitchen, of course. Uh, MM, uh, how far have you guys gone with, uh, what, is it sandwich or? Yes, we are making avocado and egg, scrambled Wonderful. egg 